It's my fault. I knew this was going to happen. I read an article. An article? Some of the most famous men in history have had this particular experience. Huh. I'm not saying it makes me feel any better. It doesn't, and as you say, it doesn't matter, but even so. No. Though, to be fair, you did promise me you wouldn't do anything, and you've stuck to your promise. <laughs> Emma! This man is as good as his word. That isn't funny. <laughs> no one can say you didn't warn me. What is this? Is this some sort of joke? Oh, it's just... Do we have to be so bloody serious? No. Of course not. I just didn't think it happened to young men, that's all. I thought it happened to clapped out older men, or <laughs> men who haven't got any shagging left in them. I once met a stockbroker who had to wait 15 years for the woman he loved. She was married or something, and when they did finally get to be together, they just lay side by side. For six whole nights, they did nothing. They just cried. <laughs> Do you think that's true of all stockbrokers or just this one? What is this? Well, I might want to avoid stockbrokers in the future if all they can offer is communal weeping. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing seems to have cheered you up in some way. Not at all. In some obscure way, you seem in very good spirits. I'm not. I thought women were supposed to reassure men in these situations. Are they? I thought they were supposed to put it lightly aside and make them feel better. So? I feel worse. Look, it's fine. We're friends. We're, what's the word, comrades. Oh, my God. <laughs> you said it first. You said it. Let's be comrades, you said. Did I? I couldn't believe it. I've never heard anyone use that word seriously. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to go. Emma, please. No, I have to. Just stay five minutes. Please? All right. But only if you make me a promise. What promise? Trust me. What do I do? <laughs> Trust me. I know more than you. Lie completely still. <laughs> If you move, I leave. Just lie. <laughs> lie. Thank <laughs> you. 